Gunderson has created a better environment for our patients to receive care and our staff to provide that care. Improved efficiencies in delivering care for our patients and increased privacy for our patients and their families. The legacy building is possible through the support of thousands of people in the communities we serve. The legacy building will allow us to continue to provide an exceptional level of care to our patients closer to home for generations to come. When patients come to Gunderson Emergency Services, they'll typically either come in through our ambulance bay or they'll walk in. Walk-in patients will be seen in a triage room and any family or friends will be able to wait within several waiting areas throughout the department. This provides more privacy for patients and families. In fact, these waiting areas have a children's play area and a full fireplace. These help promote a healing environment for our patients and their loved ones. Gunderson works with dozens of ambulance services throughout our service area, including Tri-State Ambulance. Some of our patients will come into Gunderson through our ambulance bay. Having the new ambulance bay inside will be great for patients and ambulance staff because we'll be protected from rain, snow, cold, and heat. Another nice feature is that it's a drive through Four ambulances can fit in the bay at one time. The ambulance area is also a decontamination unit. In the event of a chemical spill or an explosion or situation where ambulances and people are exposed to harmful gases or chemicals, the bay can be sealed off and the ambulances or people or both can be decontaminated. Behavioral health patients who come in through emergency services are often in a very fragile state. The rooms in our new hospital offer another layer of privacy. Having a separate area for our behavioral health patients adds to that continuum of care. When patients have a serious or critical injury or illness, we'll take care of them in a critical care room. The rooms are larger because in many situations we have more staff and more equipment needed to care for these patients. Booms overhead help take some of the equipment off of the floor and each of our critical care rooms is also private. We see an average of 150 patients per day. Most of them will use standard patient treatment rooms. These are a bit smaller than one of the critical care rooms. However, the space is designed to be flexible. So whether a person has an urgent care need, a more serious need, or a trauma, we can care for them in emergency services. I believe that the Legacy Building will allow Gunderson to enhance the already high level of care that our patients receive.